Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, February 10th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because it's dated for the 10th of February doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate for you on that day. Whenever you are guided to watch the reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you at that time. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, yes? so. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as everything is not going to resonate for everybody. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, I know I had a fun weekend. It was a it was a good one. And here we are back on Monday morning in our week. So let's get into um, your pre-shuffle energies here. You have the ace to the two of cups. Yes. The Ace of Cups to the Two of Cups. And then you have the Two of Wands as your overall energy with the Empress, okay, on the other side of the deck. So it took me a second of sitting with this before I could really pick out what Spirit was trying to say with this, or at least what, what's going on within your energies right now. Um, Quite frankly, what I'm going to say here is I feel like I really feel like this is an energy. This is for the, the feminines out there, feminine counterparts. Um, I am kind of specifically picking up on a relationship type of vibe here or a romantic vibe. OK, romance and whatnot, whatever. So if that's not something you are um, looking for, vibing with, interested in, then this part of the message probably is not going to be for you. OK, but ultimately. What I'm getting here is, it's almost, it, it's almost like a, um, I, I want to say a roulette energy, but I guess that would be more of a seven of cups than the two of cups. However, what I'm feeling here is with this ace of cups energy, okay, there is, there is, um, I just heard a desire to be known or a desire to be seen. Um, and, but that's coming from a space of you loving yourself unconditionally, okay? Or somebody loving themselves unconditionally. The Ace of Cups, you know, could be an offer of love. It could be a new beginning in love, but also the Ace of Cups represents self-love and filling your own cup of love and something that many, that m most, if not a, a good amount of us here, us readers here in you, on YouTube and whatnot, whatever, especially those that do love readings and whatnot, we tell you guys that you have got to be able to fill your own cup of love first before you can share any love with anybody else. You have to love yourself the way that you know you deserve to be loved, the way you want to be loved in order for that love to come back to you. You have to put that out there first. You have to be the one that puts that out there, that that expresses that what not whatever for it to be able to come back to you, right? And that's what I get here with the Ace of Cups, especially since it's a daylight scene with this Ace of Cups. It's like, um, there is self-awareness, there's self-love, there's a desire to be loved, there's a desire to be seen, and I feel like you're holding your space or you're holding yourself in that space in order for it to come through. Now, then we move to the Two of Cups, which is a natural progression from the Ace to the Two, okay. But also, it's kind of a nighttime scene. And you see how the individuals are coming together? Well, it's, it's almost as if they're coming together in the dark or... Um, and this is kind of also where I'm getting a little bit of the the roulette type energies or, you know, spinning the wheel or something like that. Because right now, ultimately, I don't think we really know who it's going to come from, when it's even going to come. That's kind of, so it's, it's kind of like, it, it could be a situation where, you know, you two or you have a romantic partner or a love interest in which you two are coming together energetically and it just not, hasn't materialized or shown itself in the physical realm. That's entirely possible. That is something that I'm slightly picking up on here. But then we get to the overall energy, which is the two of wands, which is an energy of making, needing to make a decision or choosing a path or choosing a direction to go in with the empress. The empress does have her back turned. Um, and this is kind of an energy where I'm getting that we're kind of talking to the feminines right now. Um, it, it really does feel like 
it's really just kind of up in the air. You know, we don't know how it's going to go. We don't know how it's going to happen. We don't know when it's going to happen, who it's going to come from. But ultimately, we're going to be aligned with a partner here. But there is a, de there is a decision that needs to be made. And if we're talking to the feminine here, then I feel like your decision, feminine, is to commit to something. And I understand how difficult that is going to be or how difficult that is. It's like you're, you're, you're committing to something, or at least I feel the argument here is you, d you, you're having trouble committing to something that hasn't materialized yet. You're having trouble committing to something that you can't tangibly see, touch, taste, feel, whatever. <laughs> that, that isn't isn't in front of your physical senses right now. And actually, I was just talking to one of my good friends about this last over the weekend, but there is an energy uh, in our society or there is a belief that I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. But ultimately, if you really want to manifest with the universe, what you really need to do is believe it so you can see it. So, in, in, and we're not necessarily asking you to commit to a certain individual, right? Um, as in like a certain romantic partner, what we are asking you to commit to is what you want in a romantic partner and not allowing anything else to come in to take that space, regardless of whether it's actually the person that you are fantasizing about or the person that you ideally would want it to be. You do not release your boundaries, you do not release your, your decisions, your goals, your morals, whatnot, whatever. You do not slack on that just so just because someone is giving you attention. You know what I mean? So we're not asking you to commit to that specific person unless they are here. I mean, unless you feel comfortable doing that, that's fine. But if that's not the case, then you don't have to do that. Instead, commit to the idea, commit to the love that you want to have in your life and allow that to come forward. No compromising, right? Now, the other thing that's coming through with the Empress energy is fertile, abundant ground. Okay, fertility, manifestation, birth. I just feel like the environment is well set and primed for romance to come in in some way. What I'm hearing is you just have to be patient with it. Patient with yourself and patient with others. Continue to fill your own cup. Continue to allow your love for yourself to shine through. Continue to be the badass that you are. Just continue. I feel like this is close. I feel like this two of cups energy is very close somehow. And I do feel fairly distinctly that there are some people that are specifically coming together with a, with a specific indiv individual that you do in fact know about. However, right now it's happening on an energetic basis. It's not, it's not in the, in the, the broad of day yet. I'm sorry, it's not in the light of day. Excuse me, I don't know where that came. Broad daylight, there we go. <laughs> um, but it could be but it could be becoming public soon, I guess. This could just be an energy of someone is really still coming to terms with the fact that they're really in love with someone and they don't know how to push forward or pursue it. And so if that's the case, then in that scenario, the Empress is just kind of sitting here like, all right, well, whenever you're ready, you let me know. I'm going to focus on my own thing. I'm going to focus on my own empire. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. Either we'll come together or we won't. But hey, it's okay. Either way, I'm the Empress. I've got everything I need. I, I mean, not that I don't need you, but also I don't really need anyone else i would love to have a partner but if it's i mean if it's not aligned if it's not matching up right now then that's okay i still got plenty to work with oh look there's the seven of cups there's the roulette energy okay that's a big old stack that we're not going to look into right now so okay let's get into the rest of the reading here and let's what is this six of pentacles okay and let's Let's see what else we've got for your day. This one shuffle. All right, 
here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, February 10th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this three shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got. One. For the collective, February 10th, 2022. And three, what would you like to discuss with us today, Spirit? What's going on with the collective energies today? Here we go. Monday, February 10th, 2020. What's going on with the collective today, Spirit? Monday, February 10th, 2020, for the collective. I am seeing purple today. Wisdom, higher wisdom, higher knowledge, higher understanding. There may be some of you out there right now that are really settling into, yeah. I mean, I'm, getting, I'm gonna do one more shuffle, but I just opened my eyes here and I was just about to say, there may be some some of you that are really settling into a very independent energy, very, very self-secured, self-assured, confident, powerful, feeling good about yourself. I'm hearing lucky. And as I opened my eyes, as I, I opened my eyes as I was starting to say that, and I saw you have the nine of pentacles here, okay? That's a really good, so there you go. Okay, so I'm going to give this one more shuffle here. Monday, February 10th, 2020. It's just your last shuffle here. Yeah. Okay, we're going to stop there. We have, okay, well, the tower. The ta and, Okay, the tower and the page of pentacles. The page of pentacles and the tower were on the top and bottom of the deck when I stopped last time. Um, and now they've still made it out. <clears throat> so... Um, and then we also have the Four of Swords here. There is a very restful, a very peaceful energy right now. You do have the Page of Swords. So someone could be watching you intently. We do have the Devil here, but the Devil's back is turned. Interestingly enough, what I feel here is you have the Page of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles. I do feel like this is kind of two different people and then two individuals, two separate people, and then the devil is right in between them. But when the devil's not looking, one or both of you could be watching each other. <laughs> or it could be a situation in which... Um, it could be a situation which in which the devil is no longer a factor here. Um... The devil's back is turned, which is a good thing because it means that you're breaking free or you can't escape from the devil, especially with this tower and tower card in which, you know, we have the side of the tower where a mask is being destroyed. Um, and, you know, a, a, the chariot that was once taking you somewhere that was just full of vapidness has destroyed also, you know? So there's there's an energy of like giving up a charade. We also have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles has been coming out quite a bit for the collective lately because there's very much an energy of like a brand new start, a new level that you've reached, a new understanding of life. Four of Swords energy is, is, is kind of playing into this devil energy a little bit because it's like, Calming the mind or calming the ego is allowing you to get past the devil's trickery. Also, something that I'm seeing here is the Page of Swords energy could be an element where when the devil is really flaring up or trying to flare up, even though I don't, I really don't feel like the devil is having much success over you right now, you being in this Nine of Pentacles energy. 
and we still could be talking to the feminine but don't don't it, it could be the masculine as well that we're talking to or if you're not resonating with like a, a romantic romantic situation or whatnot whatever this could just be this is probably just you okay but um when the devil was really trying to to get under your skin or whatnot that could be when this page of swords energy is you know i'm picking up on a number of things here okay so it could be that's when this page of swords energy flares up when you really start wanting to watch someone or you know check out what they're doing blah 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 or something like that um but then there also could be a situation in which you are or someone is really intently watching you And it has a lot, it could have a lot to do with this change, this, this tower energy. And to be honest, I feel like this tower energy was a, was a recent event, something sudden or something happened, something was communicated or something like that. And it doesn't have to be like all that crazy, but it was just like suddenly all of a sudden, it just felt, it feels like something that you just were not expecting. You didn't necessarily see coming. It's not like it's a catastro a catastrophic event and a change in something, but it you know you learned of something that you didn't necessarily either believe was was even a thing or like you just didn't see coming. It was a sudden realization you didn't expect, and now it could be that could be why you know you're watching this other person here with this nine of pentacles, and this person with the nine of pentacles is just safe and secure and doing their own thing. Um, and I really feel like the devil here and the devil's madness is being circumvented by a level of meditation and staying calm, keeping your mind, quieting the mind and whatnot, which is why you can get past the devil and its antics because it's not even necessary to really entertain that at all, <laughs> you know? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move into some clarification, but I'm gonna split this up a little bit. I'm gonna start with the Page of Swords, and then I'm gonna go to the Nine of Pentacles, and then we're gonna talk about the Devil. We might actually do the Page of Swords. We're gonna do the Page of Swords first, and then we'll do the Devil because, and then we'll check in on this Nine of Pentacles energy. But I really feel like. There also could be an energy with this page of swords here that maybe the person that's really settling into this nine of pentacles energy, this safety, the security and being sure of themselves and whatnot, whatever, being good, doing their own thing on their own vibe, on their own, in their own lane, whatnot, whatever, really focused on their own lives and really not much, not much else. Um, you could really be. Well, I th I th actually, I think I said this already, but I didn't say it in this way, but you really could be in that energy of it was the devil that was causing you to really check in on someone or something like that, to, to, to seek someone out with this page of swords energy or to whatnot, whatever. And as you meditate, as you balance, as you heal, as you whatever with this four of swords and the devil, you don't really need to check up on someone. Okay, I'm going to look a little deeper at this page of swords energy here. All right, last shuffle for this page of swords here. All right. So let's talk about this page of swords a little bit more. What is this for you? Hmm. I'm seeing, I'm kind of seeing the king of cups, but we'll see what comes out here. What is this page of swords, please, spirit, for the collective? Well, there's the ten of cups. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, with the Knight of Wands so far. All right, let's get a little deeper here. So why is this Ten of Cups here then for this Page of Swords? I mean, somebody sees something that they want. Okay. Now look at the Page of Swords again. With the Seven of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. Okay. <laughs> with the Nine of Pentacles again. Wow. Okay, so this is really just a big old repeat of... <laughs> That's cool, but that's okay. So what we have here, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Page of Wands, but then we have, I'm sorry, the Page of Swords, and then we have the Seven of Wands with the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. So 
somebody sees their ultimate fulfillment, their ultimate wish fulfillment, their happiness, love, true love, unconditional love, whatnot, whatever, in this person that is represented by the nine of pentacles, which has come out twice. Okay, so I do, I feel like this is two different people. The page of swords could very well be the masculine here and the feminine is in the nine of pentacles energy, or it could be vice versa, or it could be both of you, who knows, but someone definitely sees their wish fulfillment, their happiness, their happily ever after, whatnot, whatever. And with that page of wands energy that was underneath the deck before, before I did the second pull um, to clarify with, I was feeling like, okay, that was definitely a sign that someone wants to move forward. Someone wants to send a message. Someone wants to come forward passionately, whatnot, whatever. And yet there is a level of boundaries here with the seven of wands. And that's kind of keeping the situation between the two of you at bay. And it could very well be, you know, your own boundaries that you've set now, or it could be an effect of boundaries from the past that neither one of you are really all that willing to cross because of maybe some past energy between the two of you. Thus, what this is creating right now is an energy of trying to figure out how you two are going to work together. Three of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. That's the biggest thing that I'm getting with the Three of Pentacles here is the teamwork aspect. <clears throat> the te the, the, also, the Three of Pentacles could represent a, a level of self-mastery. So there could be, right now, there could be an energy for this person here that is represented by this Page of Swords is really trying to work on themselves to be better so that, you know, something can go better in the future. Something like that. Okay. This is a really good energy though. So sure, sure. Someone could be watching you. You could be watching them, but this also, this page of swords energy is kind of like a learning thing. We're trying to figure something out. We're seeking information, but with the page of swords and the seven of wands, I get a very strong energy that there is definitely some sort of There's some sort of boundary here between you and another person. And I kind of, I'm kind of getting an energy of, or I'm getting an image of like you, somebody or either the both of you or maybe just one of you standing right up at that boundary with like your nose pressed up against it. Like think of it as like a glass, a glass, a pane of glass or something or, or just like a wall that, you know, a fence or something like that. But it's something that you can see through and you've got like your face just pressed up against it, intently watching what's going on on the other side of that fence or, 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 um, ba boundary, just wishing you could be over there too, or wanting to be involved, wanting to take part, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever, and trying to figure out how you're going to make it there. Because some of these boundaries, like I'm saying, some of these boundaries could could very have well well have been self imposed, and maybe they're boundaries that you don't necessarily want to hold any longer, and yet you don't know how to release them. You don't know even you if you should release them. Maybe you're trying to figure out how to do so. Okay, so now let's look at the devil and the four of swords. I really do feel like this is a concerted effort here to not let the devil get you down at this point. To stop the devil in its tracks it could be you're really working on uh, quieting your ego, calming your ego maybe. Let's see, what's the devil in the Four of Swords here, please spirit? This devil and the four of swords, six of wands. Yeah, pride, ego, right? But oh, and the sun. Um, this also this kind of feels like a victory, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. By especially now that the sun is here, um, definitely Leo energy, but also there could be. Mm, pride and ego with the six of, with the six of wands and the sun yeah there could be a lot of pride and ego here um or that could have been the situation from the past maybe a bit maybe some narcissism here but there's an energy of coming to terms with it because i'm also getting you know with this four of swords it's an energy of um 
meditation and relaxing and calming the mind, quieting the mind, quieting the ego, uh, balancing the ego, maybe whatnot, whatever. And then the sun is an energy of illumination, seeing something clearly, you know, something being brought to the light of day. And then with the six of wands, I'm just getting a victory in overcoming some sort of egoic fear. I'm really working hard on that. I want to get one more pull just to talk about. I want to see what is this six of wands here? What is the six of wands, please, spirit? The Empress. Okay. We have the Empress with the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, and now the Moon. That's very interesting. Um, that's very interesting. Wow. The Six of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, but the, and the Empress and the Moon. There is quite a bit of deception here between the moon and the seven of swords. However, I'm not getting anything malicious. What I'm feeling with this is someone, and this does definitely does feel like it's on the masculine side, but someone is just sheepishly kind of like lurking in the shadows in some way, wanting to give back, wanting to, wanting to have some sort of victory, wanting to have some sort of balanced and reciprocal relationship with someone, and yet they don't know how to do it. They may even be a little bit afraid, for lack of a better term, um, because someone here is like really in their empress energy, is really like doing their own thing. And again, I'm getting like this is an energy where somebody didn't rec didn't real didn't see this coming. Like someone did not expect you to get into this empress energy, maybe so quickly, or maybe even at all. And now it's kind of like, well, now what do I do? I made this whole scene is what I'm hearing this. <laughs> I'm hearing this channel directly. I made this whole scene and now this person is like really showing who they are. And I don't know how to handle that. Like, how do I approach that? Wow. Well, I mean, it makes sense, but. But the, see, okay, so for whomever this is, whomever is resonating with this, this Empress energy, she's not, he or she, it doesn't matter, but they, I, mm, what do I say? How do I say this? It's like, she's, she's, excuse me, she's not mean, she's not vindictive, she's not vicious, she's not looking to cut you down. I mean, she knows her worth and all that, but she's she's not so full of herself or so high on a pedestal that you can never approach her. You know what I mean? But I guess it's an energy of wanting to be, well, it's an energy of wanting to give to this person what you know they deserve. Because at this point, they know what they deserve and they're not willing to settle for anything less. And it's not even like an energy where it's like, oh, I just don't want to. It's at this point, this person knows. There's like, no, that, no, I really, I really cannot be accepting anything less than I know I'm worth, that I know I'm worthy of. That Empress is just really abundant. And that may be what is holding someone at bay. I'm going to be, I'm going to be completely honest. There is a bit of a, a defeatist energy that I'm picking up on here, very extremely pessimistic. It's like, well, you're in that Empress energy. You can literally get anything that you want. So why should I even try? Like, I should just leave you alone and let you manifest someone better than me because I don't even think it's worth it for me even to try. Especially if this is a situation in which in the past it was a pretty shitty and narcissistic situation, right? But ultimately, you all are meant to learn from all of this. So stop holding yourselves back. Stop beating yourself up about it. I'm also hearing stop beating around the bush because you have this opportunity right in front of you. And it's time to make this happen. That was a direct channel. So I don't know whomever this is for, but. But you see, here's the thing about that, because spirit is 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 pushing you, is nudging you to to connect with this person for a reason. But then, and this definitely feels like it's on the masculine side, because then it's like, well, what if I make a mistake? What if I fuck it up bef like before? What, like what? 
And it's like, dude, don't worry about that. That's in the past. I keep my, my attention keeps bringing me brought to the 10 of cups here. You have your opportunity of love, right? You have everything that you want right in front of you. Everything you could always imagine. Everything that your heart desires right in front of you. So if you're, if the universe is sending you these signs and these signals and you're in the synchronicities and you just can't escape it, it's for a reason. Okay. Do not let the devil hold you back. I want to look at this nine of pentacles here. I'm going to shuffle one more time. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. What is this nine of pentacles? The two of cups. And the page of, so not the page, the knight of swords. Oh, look, the hermit and judgment. So, hi Virgo, hermit. Um, okay, so here's the deal guys. For whomever is standing in this nine of pentacles energy, just stay in that energy because it's going to bring someone towards you. Okay. The, and what I'm actually, what I'm getting here, the more you are self, the more self-aware you are, the more you influence others to become self-aware. And it's not even like, you know, you're doing it just for the sake of influencing them, or it's not like you're standing on a soapbox preaching self-awareness, blah, blah, blah. It's literally the energy that you carry and the, the, how your vibration changes, how your vibration adjusts while you are in when when you go through this process of being self-aware as self-aware as you possibly can at any given moment that i'm picking up that that is um influencing a, a counterpart on an energetic level to become self-aware um but also when you go within and you allow your own light to shine through you attract others that are attracted to your light judgment it could be a wake up. I, I heard it's a wake up call. Okay. Um, but that also is going to bring you some sort of communication because look, the Knight of Swords has, has dropped out onto the Empress here and it's pointing towards this, <laughs> the Hermit and the Two of Cups. So what it's saying, this is saying to me is that it feels like there's some sort of communication that's about to rush forward it's going to come forward eventually as you remain in your own lane we'll call it okay it's literally an energy of like calling in your soulmate but just standing in your own on your own two feet, standing in your own energy, being your own person, and just allowing your light to shine. That's really all you need to do. Just allow your light, your own light to shine. And it will bring, it's like literally like moths to a flame. And, and maybe that's a little bit of a crude analogy, but I mean, maybe not, I don't know, but you know, that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up on here. Just, you know, just let your light shine, be who it is you truly are and don't, <laughs> don't give a damn what anyone has to say about it and you will be aligned with someone that resonates with that the more you know yourself the more self-aware you are the greater your chances are of not only attracting an ideal partner but maintaining and sustaining a relationship with the, within that you know what i mean self self-awareness i'm hearing self-awareness is the key to everything All right, so I'm going to get a closing message now from Spirit. Just some closing guidance, and then we'll get our Oracle guidance from somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. <laughs> but let's see. Let's just see. Closing guidance from Spirit here. One last shuffle.
forgot what was on the other side here. All oh, right, the page of principles. Okay. Okay. So let's get a closing message here from Spirit, please. What, how do you want to just close this out for us, please, Spirit? Six of Swords. Overall energy is the King of Swords here. Okay. We do have the Queen of Cups and the Devil, which has fallen out in reverse here. We have the Six of Swords on this side, and on this side we have the Knight of Wands. Yep, okay. So, the Knight of Wands is in reverse. The Queen of Cups and the Devil are also in reverse here. Interesting. What I'm getting with the Devil and the Queen of Cups in reverse is Spirit is saying that this is... This, um, I want to call it emotional manipulation. Uh, this is, I really feel like this is a message to the masculine that has been watching a feminine counterpart that has been wondering if this person is still going to be like an emotional wreck like they may have been in the past without, emo without really much, much of a boundary, much, bo much in the way of boundaries, that sort of energy. Uh, re this I'm hearing this is reassurance that that energy is clear. There is a new day, um, a new energy between the two of you. This person is not the same that they were before. So you don't have to be afraid of the same things from the past. Okay. So if you're keeping your distance from someone because of maybe Im Im uh, too strong of an emotion here, you don't have to, you no longer have to do that. Now, there other, there's another thing I'm getting now with this, the devil and the queen of cups. It's like someone is being held back because they're afraid. They're afraid to deal with emotions somehow. Hmm. We do have the knight of wands again. The knight of wands has come out. It's in reverse here. Um... Something is stopping you, someone from moving forward, or this could be in the near future. I kind of, I kind, that's really kind of what that Knight of Wands in reverse feels like. It's not necessarily a blockage. For some of you, I guess it is. And self-awareness is, or I'm sorry, a lack of self-awareness is keeping, uh, keeping you from moving forward for someone. For others, um, I feel like this is on the horizon. You know, someone's going to be coming forward fairly quickly, fairly soon, but you really need to work on focusing, you know, on you. Continue to focus on yourself and live your life, be in your autonomy, be your own person, whatnot, whatever. And then we have the Six of Swords here, which has come out upright. Okay, so there is definitely an energy. And this was this came out with the, the, the devil here with the Four of Swords, and we were talking about how, you know, someone um, is going through... An illumination, okay, because the sun did come out first time. The first time we clarified this with the Six of Wands, um, getting past some sort of egoic point of view or whatnot, whatever, realizing that they want a, re a, a rebalanced and reciprocal relationship with this Empress here, but there's some sort of deception in terms of that because also the moon came out clarifying this side. Um, and, but now we have the Six of Swords, so leaving the past behind. I definitely feel like there's an energy here of moving on. In some way, letting go of something, releasing the fear, releasing the hurt, releasing the heartbreak, releasing any sort of devilish tendencies, any sort of tricks the devil may have played in the past, removing yourself from that. Okay, with an overall energy of the King of Swords here, <clears throat> this is really about seeing the overall energy is seeing things as clearly as you possibly can. Which would mean that, you know, you, you now recognize that there was some sort of devilish activity in terms of extreme emotions or lack of boundaries or whatnot, whatever, and you can see through that illusion, okay? You're moving forward here with the Six of Swords, moving away from a lot of the fear, a lot of the pain or whatnot, a lot of what the devil had to say about it. Knight of Wands here is someone coming forward quickly, quickly but maybe not sure yet, maybe not quite ready yet. Or, or, this is a release of some sort of, um, 
overly lustful energy. Like this is not a situation where you're coming forward just because you're lusting after someone. This is like, this is like the real deal. Okay. So it might be an energy in which someone has decided that they can't approach this situation or this circumstance in a normal way or the way that they may have in the past. This is a situation in which you have to approach this with a level of dignity and respect. With truth and honesty, Knight of Swords, instead of just being a player or, or you know, working the angle from that kind of energy. Instead, you have to come forward with truth and honesty and clarity and sincerity. And like, look, look, I'm serious about this. It took me a long time to get to this realization, but I'm serious about this and I want to make this happen. Like, this is not a joke to me. That's, this is, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting from this Knight of Swords as opposed to this Knight of Wands. Because this Knight of Wands is that energy of, hey, baby, how you doing? You know, what's your digits? What's your number? What's your sign? What your name is? <laughs> you know, but then I'm, what I'm getting from this Knight of Swords energy is like truth, honesty, and clarity. Like, look, this is the real deal. This is real to me. And... I'm not fucking around, like I'm not playing. This is serious, right? I'm hearing truth, honesty, and clarity, especially with this King of Swords here. And this King of Swords does give me an energy of like someone has really been thinking over this, thinking this through for quite a while. Okay. We're going to go with the fairy forest today for our oracle guidance. <clears throat> Let's see what we've got here. One last shuffle. And then we'll see what the fairies have for us. A Chujayski. Yeah? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oracle Guidance, please. Spirit. There it is right there. What do we have? Card number 13. Okay, the Elf Queen. Introverted, I'm sorry, introverted burden responsibility. Interesting. You have responsibilities that have uh, accumulated to the point that you no longer feel free. You have dimmed your own bright light and the world longs for you to shine once again. One by one, I ask you to take these burdens, anything that feels heavy, whose energy does not come from love but from fear, any demands and expectations that no longer meet your needs, and release them with love. There is no rejection in this gesture. It is simply time to reestablish your own personal boundaries. You may even be carrying burdens that rightly belong to other people. Please release these now. Without this clearing, you may well feel you are carrying too much on your own shoulders and are unable to see the path ahead of you. As you release, the beginnings of the sweet and tender freedoms that are your birthright will make themselves known to you. You are now free to love and care for others more effectively as you will be acting out of love, not forcing yourself. If you clearly ask for support, other people will love and support you in all that you do. Beautiful. Okay, and that actually makes a lot of sense because I was just sitting here thinking, what am I going to title this reading? And I kind of want to title it, um, Self-Awareness is Key. Hmm. Okay, spirit just changed it up. So self-awareness is absolutely necessary. So like, and so then Elf Queen makes a whole lot of sense here. I mean, you need to be, you need to go within and find what those burdens are. Is that true to you? Is that your authentic self? Is it standing in the way of your 10 of cups? Ask yourself these questions and be honest. Be as honest with yourself as you need to be. If you need to be brutally honest and it's worth it in the end, so go ahead and do it, yeah? All right, kids. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah?
Take care. Bye.